Hi, welcome back to Rainy Dewey's Art Spot. Today's video, I wanted to focus on getting familiar with your palette. Um, if you're a real beginner and you just made the purchase of some paints, this is a perfect way to get to know your paints, what they will do, how intense they are, how you can dilute them and just give a hint or a, a tint. And then you could also learn the names of them. You also will learn the opaque and transparent properties. So um, the palette that I have set up is John Pike's palette. You might have a different palette in a different configuration. You might have opted for something simple and round or a fancy stick your thumb in it palette. Whatever way, um, configuration you have, we're gonna translate that into our sketchbook and do a little exercise on getting familiar with your paints. So grab your sketchbook. This is gonna be all sketchbook work and taking notes and getting familiar. It's kind of fun. There's no pressure in it. No pass or fail. That's the beautiful thing about art. So get your paints, get your sketchbook. Let's get going. What I started doing here is I gave myself a little grid. It really represents John Pike's palette. That is a Sharpie, waterproof Sharpie. And the reason um, why we're doing that is as you paint over it, you can see which paints have a more opaque or less transparent property to them. You can see um, permanent green number one uh, which is the very first green on that. When it goes over the top of that Sharpie marker, you can see that there's a little chalky um, property to it. So that's the reason for that. And then what, I'm, what I'd like you to do is you just do, take a flat, one of your flat brushes, you do one swath of whatever color it is, and then you can um, try to dilute it and see how light a tint you can get on the bottom of each one of your samples. So that's what I'm having you do here. Or that's what I'm doing here. Once you're done doing your samples, um, you're gonna to wanna to label each one with the color that it is. And if you use different manufacturers, you may wanna make a note of that as well. Some of those colors look like they're they're a little close to the same, but there's a cool and warm of each. And I have a lot of different blues, which I'm not sure I need them all. Yes, I am sure I need them all. Um, these colors that I'm writing here on the bottom, black, Payne's gray, Windsor red shade, Windsor green shade, and then a gouache white, those are not on my uh, John Pike's palette. Here I'm writing some notes. Okay, your primary colors, those are red, yellow, and blue. And those colors cannot be mixed from any other colors. Your secondary colors are uh, two primaries mixed together. For example, yellow and blue make green, red and yellow make orange, blue and red make purple. Those are your secondaries. The tertiaries are a little more complicated to understand, but what they are is you take one primary and you mix it with a secondary. So you're gonna take your one of your reds and mix it with an orange, and that would be considered a tertiary. Okay, we'll go over those, um, each individual topic, primary, secondary, and tertiary in future videos, so don't worry about that right now. So that's just a little overview of getting to know your palette. The most important thing to remember is don't forget to have fun. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you really would like to see more videos and be notified when I post something new, subscribe. It would be great. Thanks again for watching.